Drake can't afford to lose is is the heart and the core of Atlanta. Drake? Hey, now in the wake of Kendrick Lamar just dropping his new album, GNX, I think your boy Academic said something interesting about the Atlanta artist that Drake keeps in his company. And I wanted to know what y'all thought about this. Make sure y'all like the video and subscribe. Let's get it. What Drake can't afford to lose is is the heart and the core of Atlanta, right? And if him and Future were really going at it, I think all Atlanta artists would stay out the way. They would be like, yo, bro, it's Pluto, my nigga. We, you know, we ain't, we fuck with you, but we ain't going against Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? And the most important thing I think Drake could do is to make sure, and that's why I keep saying the election, yeah, of course I want him to be like mad buddy buddy with a nigga who clearly was trying to end him, whether he's trying to acknowledge it or not. But I do believe that Drake needs Atlanta. I do think he needs Atlanta. For what Drake does, Drake needs Atlanta um, as a region. I believe he needs certain international influences. Like, again, you got to remember, Drake is like a behemoth that, that's his otherworldly type of shit so when i'm saying that he needs these people it's not need these people to just it, it for the reign that he has which i personally believe kendrick has been jealous that no matter how good he raps he's not tapping into one-fifth of the audience that drake does and this is actually fact no matter how much you like um kendrick Go look at the tour sales. Go look at the tour differences. They they both did the same arenas. Drake made three times as much as him. Go look at every metric that compares him. Drake is like five times as much. How do you get to be that point? Well, you need to have certain places. And Atlanta is one of them. I think no one in hip hop could really go against Atlanta. Atlanta is just, you need Atlanta. Now look, Act got a point. But at the end of the day, you can say that about every artist. Because it's so many big artists from Atlanta right now. You can't be in the rap game now and think a feature from Lil Baby won't help. A feature from Future won't help. Uh, Lotto. All, I mean, it's, it's not even just dudes in Atlanta who's still popping. You got females out there that's doing their thing now, too. But then you talk about Gunna. Thug just came home. Like, who can afford to not be working with Georgia or Atlanta artists? Be real. Now, granted, if you wanted a big three, it don't hurt you as much. But when you think about the edge that Drake has had, it's because he was able to touch bases with the New Yorks and the Atlantas, and the places in Florida, whether it be Miami or, you know, the hood places. Same thing with Cali as well. He's been cool with artists from all of these places, which kind of gave him the edge because he was able to kind of get fans and get influences in all of these places because of those artists he would work with. And it goes for his international audience as well, right? Those dudes from the UK, those dudes that do um, island music and, and uh, the guys that's doing the Latin music. He's been able to touch bases with all of these artists. But we know how Atlanta has been running the rap game for the last, what, 10 years? Yeah, yeah. Drake needs Atlanta, but I think everybody could use an Atlanta artist feature. The thing is, for me, though, I need my Atlanta people to answer this question. Does Future rank higher than Little Baby? Because in my mind, I want to say this. I want to say Future is like the Drake of Atlanta, meaning like he's like the biggest artist from Atlanta. And then somewhere below him, there's Young Thug and Lil Baby. As far as the new dudes, right? Because I know people like 
Jeezy and T.I., they still hold a place in a lot of y'all hearts, but I'm talking about more recent dudes. I think Future might be at the top of the food chain in Atlanta, and then below him, it sits Lil Baby and Young Thug. But the reason I asked that question is, I want to know, has Lil Baby eclipsed Future yet? Because I could be off base. And if Drake can maintain a relationship with Lil Baby over Future, then... I don't really need to have a conversation about Drake losing Atlanta when he has the second or biggest artist from Atlanta that's still cool with him. Because Lil Baby was not in none of that shit. And I think Lil Baby and Drake's relationship is intact, just like we know Drake and Young Thug's relationship is intact. So can he really live without being cool with Future? I think so. So let me know what y'all think about this. Like the uh, video and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.